Have you ever felt like you weren't a priority for other people in a situation? Have you ever had a fantastic idea, finished a task well, or done something truly valuable for others, only to be given no credit for it? I understand that dealing with this might be difficult, but occasionally people may not notice or pretend not to see your genuine worth even when you act morally, put others first, and make yourself available to them. In fact, if you continue to try to win over people who don't give you the recognition you deserve, you may end up becoming discouraged, and turning around this situation can be difficult. Of course, it's a bad sensation, and it gets considerably worse if it includes a partner, family member, or closest friend. According to the Stoic school of thought, we shouldn't wait for recognition from others because it's out of our control and may never happen. If we do, we'll just be disappointed. What if I told you, though, that there are ways to get more recognition and to become a priority in someone's life? In reality, it's very likely that this will happen if you understand and put what we're about to show you to use. To maintain your position at the top of someone's list, follow these steps. You can make sure that the people you care about always feel like a priority in their lives by following these nine steps. After gaining an understanding of the issue, it's time to transform your strategy by discovering the fix. Go now. I'd like to ask you to make sure you watch this video all the way to the end before we begin since each step is important. Asterisk asterisk first step asterisk asterisk. Make them fearful of losing you. You may make someone see you as a priority by using this effective psychological approach. The fear of losing something frequently drives people more than the possibility of getting it. You need to make someone fear losing you if you want them to see you as a priority. To achieve that, begin emotionally separating yourself, begin confiding in them, and begin to balance your time with other people. They'll feel less important to you as a result, which will make them feel worse. Although it has a lot of power, use it with caution. You must employ this tactic intelligently and in balance because if you give them too much distance, they may give up on attempting to win you back. Asterisk asterisk to asterisk asterisk. Refrain from being on call all the time. The adage quality over quantity is frequently used to describe relationships as well as other aspects of life. You may need to make yourself less available if you want to be a priority in someone's life you are more likely to be taken advantage of the more accessible you are. This doesn't imply you should only be accessible when it's convenient for you, but if you continuously adjust and make room for others, it's time to prioritize yourself. Sending them the message that you have a life beyond them and aren't just waiting for them will make them value your presence more. Asterisk, asterisk, step three, asterisk, asterisk, preserve a modicum of mystery. The intriguing and mysterious are typically attracted to people, it can be captivating to be fascinated by the unknown, and it frequently makes people feel more connected. Being a little mysterious can work in your favor when it comes to relationships. Avoid disclosing every detail about yourself right away if you want to be considered as a priority. Avoid exposing too much about your interests and activities. Give evasive answers to questions and refrain from going too much into your past. Throughout time, you want the other person to remain curious and eager to learn more about you. In their lives, they will begin to see you as a priority. Let them make an investment in you in asterisk asterisk step four asterisk asterisk. Because you don't want to push people away but rather the opposite, this is a delicate step that you must take deliberately and selectively. Consider the following. Who is more likely to see you as a priority? Someone who has spent a lot in you or someone who hasn't? There is an obvious answer. You must give them permission to invest in you if you want someone to see you as a priority. Let them invest their time in you by declining invitations you know you won't be able to keep, for example. Additionally, make them wait for you, show them that your time is valuable, and don't always be available. This attitude will deliver the message that you're not simply anyone and that they must make more effort to win your time. This will start to make them prioritize you and make them see you as a challenge. For this strategy to work, keep in mind that you must apply it gently. Don't go overboard, because the result may end up being the opposite of what you wanted. Sort your needs into priority. Step 5. Being selfish is not what this implies. Simply defined, prioritizing your needs means avoiding placing yourself in a situation where you are not a priority. For example, why would you want to be close to someone you know won't treat you well? 
You boost your chances of being regarded as a priority by surrounding yourself with people who see you as one. It's essential to remember that you have no control over the feelings of another person toward you. How do you feel about yourself is the only thing you can control. Make sure you are a priority in your own life if you want to be someone else's priority. Don't make them the focal point of your life in step 6. Did you know that people are frequently attracted to things that are out of their reach? Yes, it is. The greater the desire for something, the more one feels compelled to work for it. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side, is undoubtedly familiar to you. This expression represents the propensity of people to become more enthralled with what they lack in the end. This also applies to interpersonal relationships. This step therefore highlights the need of keeping this wisdom in mind when interacting with other people. People will be more attracted to your presence if you maintain a particular distance, it advises. They will esteem you more over time if you can communicate the message that you are not a needy person for their attention. The seventh step is to always initiate contact from the top. It may be time to step back if you frequently find yourself striking up a conversation with an important person in your life. This may seem counterproductive because you should be the one to start a conversation if you want to be a priority in someone else's life. In response, the answer is no. The other person begins to take you for granted if you're the one who consistently strikes up conversation. They begin to see you as less important as they grow accustomed to your efforts. What then is the other option? Simply start a conversation from the top and see what happens. The other person will make an effort to contact you if they genuinely care about you. Asterisk, asterisk, step A, asterisk, asterisk, bring happiness to yourself. It's important to create your own happiness and not rely on others to be important if you want to be a priority in someone else's life. Depending on them for our happiness can end up disappointing men, even though it would be wonderful to have someone to rely on who makes us feel good. Furthermore, when we rely on other people to be happy, we are not genuinely living our life. Rather, we are living according to their agendas and goals, which can lead to animosity toward men. To be a priority in someone else's life, it's important to create your own happiness. In the long run, this will not only make you happier, but it will also make you seem more confident and balanced, which will draw other people to you. Be prepared to walk away at step nine. Although it can be frightening to walk away from someone we care about, it's an important step. You give the message that you won't settle for anything less than what you deserve by showing that you're not afraid to walk away. The appropriate person will make an effort to retain you in their life and will naturally see you as a priority. Always remember that doing the right thing is within your control and that is your part. As a result, you ought to be conscious of the fact that your deeds are right in the eyes of other people and you ought to feel happy doing it. You shouldn't count on people to constantly give you the compliment or recognition you deserve or to always appreciate you equally. Give it some time and people will begin to see you the way you deserve to be noticed. The rationale behind these nine steps for making other people's lives a priority is summarized in this conclusion. Do your best to read it through to the end. Men have all had times when they feel unimportant or undervalued. However, it's essential to remember that each of us is on a different path in life and that the priorities of other people may not accurately reflect our value. We can turn these events into chances for personal development rather than letting them damage our sense of self-worth. The secret is to prioritize ourselves, taking care of our well-being and happiness. Others will eventually begin to take notice of you and give you the respect you deserve. Remember that you can and should give yourself the priority you deserve. Even if other people don't put you at the top of their list, this is self-compassion and self-determination, not selfishness. By doing this, we may create relationships that are healthier, make choices that are more in line with our objectives and live lives that are more full and meaningful. I appreciate you watching.